All right, uh, welcome to another video. Uh, today we're looking at Overboss, a boss monster adventure uh, by uh, Brother Wise Games. As you can see from the box, it is a one to five player game, ages eight and up, and a 20 to 30 minute uh, gameplay. Is what it looks like on that side. What it looks on this side, that side, and the back of it. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. And here, um, you get a quick sheet that gives you. Um, information on uh, how to complete uh, like a side quest, a, 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 like a solo uh, mode uh, campaign type of deal. All right. It includes the storage here, and we'll go over that in a second. It's another sheet, uh, it's a quick star guide with just quick information on how, how to get some moves and uh, how to play the game and some of the basic scoring tile uh, information and stuff like that. This is great for when you're playing the game. You can have that to your side so you can go over it as you play the game. Components and information set up, turnover, uh, sorry, turn order information. Placing and scoring tokens. Advanced game variants is when you play with the cards with the monsters and then a scoring example Very quick one. Uh, this is a seven page book All right, and then in here we have These are the double-sided uh, player boards uh, really thick cardboard as you can see here and this is the long variant, and this is the quick variant. That's what it looks like on the bottom. And you get one, two, three, four, five of them. They're all the same. This is where you put the, the portals. And you also get score sheets with um, a breakdown. You get a bunch of them. All right. So let's take a look at the tiles. So great, it comes with its own storage system, which is nice. You get this little baggie. This is where you're gonna put in the monsters and uh, the mini tiles, um, the mini monsters, I believe they're called. Uh, See, yeah, the mini boss tokens. Mini boss tokens will go in here um, in the little baggie. All right, these, these are the boss cards. You get 10 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you don't have to play with them. Um, you can play with the cards, but you don't necessarily need to play with this to play the game. And they all have different abilities, for example, Score plus one for each matching monster on your map. Score three plus for each separate group of exactly three tiles of the same terrain type. And then here it says this card and then restock all terrain tiles in the market. Tokens do not get replaced. You know, you get a bunch of those. Like I said, you got 10 of this. Um, draft twice this turn, skip your next turn. So this happens when you flip this over this, this happens, and then this is the score at the end of the game. Uh, score plus two for each dungeon on your map at the end of the game. And you got a bunch of them. King, Krog, Bella, Donna, Killa, Zyzax. And I'll show you all of them there so you can see them all. Cleopatra. Uh, I think that's all of them. All right. You also get these command cards. And you get 18 of this. 
Alej. You get uh, 10 terrain cards. And what happens is at the beginning of the game, I'll explain that later, but this is what um, dictates what kind of game you're gonna have as far as what tiles you're gonna be using. So you have your basic ones like the caves, uh, graveyards, swamp, camp, forest, and these are now part of the basic ones. You can choose to start the game with this and um, you can mix them up and then pick, uh, you know, mix all of them up and then um, play f uh, f uh, random ones. The summoning circle, volcanoes, cloud island, castle, and desert. All right, so you get 10 of those. And these are the actual tiles, right? And the, all the tiles come with their own little monsters. Uh, this is part of this guy. All right, so for example, this, which is the, let's see, which is the caves, all right? If you were to pick this card at the beginning of the game, you will pull up this uh, stack with the matching monsters, which are in there. Right, and they will score um, each tile type scores uh, differently, and it tells you right here at the bottom what the score condition is for this specific tile. All right, and then you get um, let's see how many you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And as you can see, they all got different designs on them, which is nice. I love this uh, 8 bit the theme. Which is, um, if you're a video game f uh, fan, this is going to be up your alley. I uh, hope you can see all of them there. These are great. And this is what it looks like on the back. Thickness wise, that's how thick they are. This just comes off the tile sheet. Um, and these are the monsters. Oop, that's a gem and that's a portal. Okay, and the monster will be the same. The mini boss or the mini, what are they called? Mini, what are these called? Monster tokens. Okay, same thing from both sides. And it's got the little logo that matches the tile. Okay, so that's the volcano. Oh, that's a cave, sorry. We'll go one by one. And you got your castle. And that has his own scoring condition. That's your logo, and that's these are the mini monsters that come with it. That looks like a little Dracula. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And of course, they're all very different. Actually, this one, no, that's fine. Yep, a little different. Just great. There we go. Okay, so that's the castles. Oh, let's go with this one. These are the cloud islands. Again, all different. And the Cloud Island Monsters. Right there. Let's go over the volcano. That's what the volcano looks like. Scoring conditions. I'll tell you more about those in a second. And the volcano comes with this tile. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, summoning circle. That's what it looks like. And the scoring condition on the bottom. Again, all different. And in that same 8-bit style.
I'll try to go as quick as possible through the rest of them. Um, forest. Oh, I don't know if I show you the. That's the summoning circle monster. And these are the forest. Forest monster, I'll show it to you first. And tiles, scoring condition. And the logo to match. It had gives me all kinds of uh, Zelda vibes on this one. It reminds me of Zelda. What video game does it remind you of? Leave it in the comment, let me know. Then you got your camp. The monster for the campfires. Scoring conditions and a little flag. That's what that's what scores you in the on the camps. And I'll tell you more about it later. Love the artwork on all of this. Swamp. Where's this swamp? That's the monster for the swamp. And you get multiple ones. Uh, okay. That's what they look like. Swamp. Uh, then you get your graveyard and Graveyard monster. That's the thickness of it too. That's cool. That's a graveyard desert. And the desert monster. tiles check that one out look at that one okay and last but not least the dungeon and the little icon for it and the scoring condition Again, all different design. All right, you also get seven portal tokens. That's what they look like. And on the back, you get. Um, Six mini boss tokens, and that's what they look like, more or less, on that side. I'll show you just a couple here so you can see. Oops. What else? Well, you get, um, you get a bunch of this as well. It's a little gems. All right, so now that you have uh, what's included in the box, uh, let's find out how you do a, a game setup. So normally what you're gonna do is you're gonna select uh, five of this. One, two, three. So you're gonna shuffle this first, right? And you're gonna select five. One, two, three, four, five. If you don't wanna play with the basic game, you do it that way. If you do wanna play with the basic games, you're basically gonna find all the cards that have basic on it, and you're gonna select those. All right. So once you select the, the cards you're gonna use, you go into your stash, and you go ahead and you pick up the tiles that match the information here on the cards. So in this particular example, we're gonna be selecting the 
the what is called the camps and we're gonna select the camp tokens and I'm not gonna pull all of the tokens and mini boss uh, the bosses out of it because it's just an example but you are basically gonna do that the next one is the forest so you're gonna select the forest and you're gonna select the forest tokens all right you're gonna do the swamp so you're gonna pick up the swamp and you're gonna select the swamp tokens and how do you know which one is which you're gonna look at the logo as well here you can see the little mark in there right there okay so you can see and there's a there's a whole stack of this I'm just not picking all of them but you know there's a whole stack of them you're also gonna select the, the cloud island which is this one with uh, mini monsters and then you're gonna do the cave which is this one with the cave monsters uh, which are right here oops that went fine okay so that's everything selected there right um, you're also going to select the little um, gems so in this case you're going to pick that one up and it tells you right here on the right so after you selected all your tiles and your monsters you're going to go find the gems so in this case you see how it tells you on the right side of the card the gem that you want to pick up and you pick the one that matches it's going to be one per tile or per um, terrain on the board on the box so you pick that as well for each one of them for example that one so that one right there there it is so you're going to select all of them you're also going to go grab all the portals you're going to select that as well and you're also going to pick up the monsters the mini boss the mini boss tokens okay so you're going to pick that as well and basically that is what you want to do after that you're going to remove these cards you're done with these cards and this is the basic short game right the one i'm explaining to you and you're going to basically shuffle this right all this cards oh sorry you also always 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 you're going to include the dungeons okay so you're going to shuffle all of them together right and then you're going to do the same thing with this one so you're going to shuffle them all together the way i like to do it is i like to have two piles so say something like this oops something like that so two piles like that and then you're going to go grab the baggie that comes with the game and you're going to put all the tokens from all the locations all the terrains in the baggie okay. you're gonna mix them up okay and that's how the game starts let me move this down a little bit and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip four of the styles in the market and then you're gonna pick four items here from the baggie there you go and basically in your turn you're going to select move this down a little bit so you can see it there. so you're going to select one of these items to pick and when you pick it you're going to pick both you can't just pick that one and this one you have to pick the match so let's say for example you wanted to pick the forest here okay you will pick both of them you will put this on your player board right and then once you do that then you get another tile let's 
So he's uh, you get another tile, and then again, you get another item for the baggie. Okay, and let's say it's your turn, you're gonna select again. Okay, and you're gonna put it on your mat, on your player board. And you're gonna keep doing that, right? You're gonna keep, just keep going. This one goes here. And you're gonna keep flipping this stuff over. And you're gonna keep selecting, you know, your matching items. You keep going and you keep going and you keep filling up your, your player board. Now you notice how here, when I selected this one, this is a dungeon, right? So this was up here with this um, boss, mini boss. You notice when I picked it up, put it on my board, this did not go here. The reason for that is because dungeons can have uh, these tokens. So you put it on your board like so. And then on a future turn, right? At a future turn, then you can go ahead and choose to, let's say I wanna, instead of this guy, right? For whatever reason, instead of this guy here, I wanna have this guy. And you can flip them, okay? So that's how that works there. All right, and you're gonna continue to do this until you fill up your board. Now the way you fill up your board and the scoring, it all depends on each one of the tiles. For example, the forest. All right. So the way you score the forest is is depends on the amount of forest you have on your on your player board. For example, in this particular example, we have two forests on this board. So that means we're going to be getting three points. If you had three, you had six points. If you have four, you had ten, and then if you have five, you have fifteen points. Okay. So that's the, the way the work, uh, the forest works. Camps, okay. The way camps work is it depends on the different style of camps you have with different flags. So in this particular example, we have we have this camp and we have these two camps, and they all have different color flags. So for three of them is nine points, which is right here. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Here we have the caves and uh, the way it works is each cave has a basic point of one so that's a uh, point for every particular cave and then if the cave is bordering a mountain so let's say instead of playing the cave here we're to play the cave here okay that would have been an additional two points so that would mean that this particular tile would score three point total. Okay, so that's the cave. And the way the swamp works is you get one point for the swamp. You get one additional point if it's next to the water here. And then you also get an additional point if it's next to another swamp. So in this case, this would score me one point for being this and then one extra point from being next to it. In this particular point, I get one point from being here, you get one extra point from being next to the water, and then you get one extra point for being next to another swamp. So that's the swamp. All right, so these ones are worth uh, one point. And what's cool about these ones is when you place this one out, you can swap, okay? You can swap one of these guys. So let's say you wanted this guy instead of this guy, you can swap one of them from the market, and you can also exchange this if you wanted to, right? Let's say you put this one down and it came with this guy. You can actually, let's say for whatever reason you wanted this guy, you can swap it like that. So that's what happens every time uh, you put this one down. That one's pretty cool. This one is worth seven points. So when you put this one down at seven points, the way this one works is you start getting negative points for each one of the non-cloud type of terrains you have in the map. So when you, you're going for this particular cloud uh, tile, you wanna have the least variety as possible. So in this case, we have one, two, three, four, uh, five, I think. So that would mean that it's seven minus five, this particular uh, tile is gonna score two points. 
Okay, and you keep going this way. Those are the tiles and they all score differently. All right, and as far as crystals, let me show you the crystals. So basically the way crystals works is it gives you a point for each one of that tile match of that tile you have in your board. So this particular one is um, caves, right? And if you look at my board right now, the only cave I have is one. So you're looking at one point uh, for the cave um, crystal. Um, if I had a, let me see if I can find another crystal. If I had this particular crystal, I would score one point for each cloud tile I had on my board, right? And that would be just one extra point as well for that particular tile. Mini bosses just give you straight out two points. So you get two points for the mini boss. And then every time you match, so let's, in this particular case, we match the mini boss. Right, you match the mini boss with the t with the tile, you get a point. So in this particular case, I get a point here. I also get a point here because I match it here. I get another point here, I match here, 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 and here, or and here. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points because the the little mini tile mini boss matches um, or the monster matches the tile. Um, icon terrain style so you will get point on top of whatever point you collected when you match them and the last scoring is called uh, bending and bending is when you match the monsters in a row so for this particular case you'll be matching i'll be matching here and you can go this way so in this particular case i got one two three and then two here and you get points for collecting a actually you also get here so this is a good bending. You get bending here, here, and here, because all these tiles are the same. You also got one here of two. So the way that works is you get a band of three tiles going this way, and then three uh, of them, of these monster tokens, gives you five points. And then I got a band here, a matching band of two, that will give me two points. And then I have another one here that will give me an extra two points. And everything uh, that I told you about here as far as the scoring is concerned, so I'll explain in here. So you get your uh, information, how to score those here, how to score the advanced tiles here, and how the monsters are scored. Okay, quick game, about 40 minutes more or less, easy to set up, easy to pick up and go. Uh, again, you have your scoring sheets here. And uh, separates everything, uh, so the terrains, the dungeon scores, the mini bosses, the crystals, the bands, and your total score. Also the boss scores, which are these guys. Okay, then at the end of the game, you will score it. So for example, score one po plus one for each type of monster and mini boss on your map. Okay, so in this particular case, I have one, two, three, four five so that would be um one point for each one of those okay for every unique one okay and you will score that as well add it to your total so that's overboss by uh brother wise go ahead and show the box um if you're a gamer if you're into video games uh this is gonna be just you know great for you um, because this is going to remind you of uh, video games, you know. It's incredible that they were able to manage to get a uh, different design on every single one of these tiles. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the, the game feels very video gamey. Um, I would suggest if you are into board games that you use the cards, because that's going to just give you that extra oomph on the game. Um, Component-wise, is great. All these styles are great quality. Um, the bag is in, it's good. I don't know if it's double stitch. Uh, yep, yeah. so that's gonna prevent it from ripping off. Uh, these boards are great. All these cars are great. Um, the, the fact that you have multiple of this and you only play with five of them, 
it's gonna allow you to just make the game a little different because every tile is very different every terrain style is very different as far as the scoring is concerned and you got all kinds of scoring from like monsters regular monsters or matching tiles the bands that you gotta make uh, this is fun fun game uh, easy to pick up easy to explain it to a person that's not super heavy into board games 100% I recommend you pick this up if you can we don't have it at the store at the moment we don't have it on the site uh, blueapehq.com but for whatever reason you're looking into selling so maybe you have a copy and you don't play it anymore for whatever reason um, you can always sell it there it's free to um, to anyone you can just register for free and then just post the game for free and let it and you know let another board gamer uh, enjoy uh, the game you're no longer playing okay so this is overboss again from brotherwise games thank you very much for providing a copy really enjoyed it. it's a really fun game um, and again we're looking forward to having more from you guys I uh, just keep up the good work uh, so far this is a thumbs up from this one this is a really good game all right um, keep an eye on uh, blue ape HQ on Instagram and Twitter keep checking at the site we always have new games uh, uh, cycling through there and I'll see you guys in the next one peace take care bye